What's up, Long Beach? It's JJ, and yes, that's right. They were rededicating the floor at St. Anthony Gym versus Bell Jeff on Friday night. A great crowd on hand, and Derek Martin Court on display. D-Mart was there, Kings, Raptors, and T-Wolves NBA baller. New paint on the floor. Also, you know, you got to make sure the new paint isn't too slippery. Uh, still the history over there at St. Anthony's, though. All the banners hanging high. All the Saints marching out, ready to go for this one, getting hyped up in the beginning. The players are most definitely ready. The question is, is the pit ready? The pit, the student section over there at St. Anthony's, I, I can respect a smart student section. Hold up the newspapers for the opposing uh, lineup. I can respect a loud student section, and I can respect a student section that DMART wants to go be a part of. Pretty cool for him to go check that out over there in the pit. And uh, the new floor, all shiny and special, ready to go. Uh, the tip here, and from the from the get-go, it was all Bell Jeff. Uh, they did a really good job against St. Anthony's full court pressure of running the floor, and when they did get turnovers as well, they were able to run the floor. They opened up a huge lead. Uh, they went on an 8-0 run. They ended up leading 17-5 at one point. Uh, St. Anthony really struggled against the zone and the shooting from the outside, but number 42, Ikena Agoke, made it happen on the inside, and got a little hot from the outside as well. Uh, this three-pointer got, got St. Anthony's within uh, nine points in the second half. Uh, Bell, Bell just continued to pass the ball well, but it was time for number 22, Ronnie Ong. He found his spot, he went to work. Ong, my goodness, he banks one in. Three three-pointers in a row to give St. Anthony's their first lead of the game. Uh, the pit's into it, Ong, jumper right there, ties it at 44, nine seconds left. Looking for a man, the turnover, no. No, he didn't just... Oh, no. Bell Jeff calls a timeout, doesn't have any left. Visions of Chris Webber dancing in our heads. Technical foul with nine seconds to go. Number 10, Mike Cortez, who had had a tough night from behind the arc. A little chance at redemption? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That was all the Saints would need. You're right, Saints. This is your house. 45-44. St. Anthony's comes away with the victory and christens. D-Mark Court, the way it should.